Do you love to place candles around your house for a romantic mood or ambiance? Well, you could use the same candles to bring positive fire energy into your life. Hello, I'm Moon. Today, I'll be speaking with feng shui expert Donna Stellhorn on how you can use candles to clear away negative space in your home and in your life. So Donna, I know there are five elements in feng shui and fire being one of them. So how can we use this really strong element to bring positive energy into our life? Well, I'm glad you asked because fire is the easiest of the elements to activate. So because we can use candles. And so when you're picking out candles for this, you have a wide variety of candles to choose from. And so, but all of these work. So these are pillars and pillars yes. burn for a very long time. Right. Now that that's great and they're very cost effective, but there can be some dripping of wax and that can hurt your furniture. So you, if you're gonna choose pillars, which come in some great colors and fragrances, just be careful to have a plate underneath. Okay. Now there are also candles that are in jars. Uh, they're in jars basically because the melting uh, temperature of the mm -hmm. wax is actually much lower. So they need a jar for stability. Okay. So these are really nice because they burn for a very long time. The fragrance is great. Uh, but then the issue is that you can't burn them continuously. If the flame was to hit the glass, the glass could break. Okay. So okay. when you say continuously, how many hours are we talking? Oh, a candle like this would probably burn for 60, 80 hours. Oh, so. okay. So you're saying to burn the candle when you leave your house to go to work? Oh, no, not oh, at okay. all. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just saying. Not at all. We really want to practice safety with okay. candles. And the cheapest solution is these little votives. Yes. So votive candles can be found at a grocery store. They're usually around a dollar mm -hmm. or less, and they come in with some really bright, vibrant colors. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to candles, you would want to get a votive and candle holder. Right. So that leads us to the color. Yes. So when we're doing some clearing of the home, we can bring in positive energy too. Okay. So for instance, if we just wanted to clear, we would use the color white. Okay. Because white just does, it's like a, like a deep cleaning. Okay. Like Mr. Clean went through your place <laughs> and everything is back to a neutral state. Okay. But maybe what we want to attract is joy. So okay. then we use the color yellow. I see. Yellow brings us that sense of sunshine and flowers yes. and happiness. So we're clearing the energy while we are bringing in joy. Okay. And then, yes, for Very passion, passion. <laughs> yes, that seems obvious and color. love. Yeah. If you want to attract love, red is your best color. Now, right. a lot of people choose a pink candle, but actually pink is for enhancing an existing relationship. We want to use red because red is passion and that will attract energy to you. So we will clear the energy, clear the house of the negative energy, plus we'll be attracting love. Okay. So, and you have another color for us. I have a green one here. Oh yes. This one is everybody's favorite. Mm -hmm. It attracts money. So, you know, we all love money. <laughs> in the United States, our money is green mostly. Right. In in other countries, it's all different colors. There, uh, there's a rainbow of colors. Right. But in the United States, we like our green money because right. green is about growth. Right. Green is about lush. And what do we think about? We think about growing our money as much as possible. Okay. So we use a green candle, and this is interesting uh, because it's green glass, but that right. works too. Okay. Even though the candle inside is white, right. the green glass gives us that energy right. of green. And that perception. Of yes. Green. Okay. So we clear out the blocks, we clear out the negative energy, and we use the green candle to attract more money. Okay, so you're gonna show us next how to place it in a, like a living room or a bedroom? Yes. So Donna, here I have now a miniature living room set for you. So how are we gonna place our candles in this living room? Well, I'm glad that you have a living room. A living room or family room is where we want to clear energy okay. to attract for money specifically. So our, if you were looking for a job or okay. if you wanted more family harmony, so all of those things. So okay. uh, yeah, you me got too. me a little <laughs> candelabra. So uh, even though these are taper candles, we would still be using some of those safer kinds of candles that we showed earlier. So now the candles, you want to place 
place the candles where you feel they're going to be safe. Okay. So uh, a lot of people will do place their candles right on the coffee table, right. but if you have a dog, you're going to be worried about that. Okay. And so the great news is that the candles can go wherever you feel comfortable. So they can be placed on the high entertainment center okay. or out of the way on the end table. Right. But you want them to be able to burn for an hour so that the energy can shift. And so place them where you feel comfortable where they're not going to be touched by kids, pets, dogs, cats, etc. Okay. So um, where it's comfortable. How about colors? Do we place the candles strategically by colors? Well, you can. There are uh, schools of feng shui that will uh, tell you what area is what color. Okay. But this might be, if you feel this is complicated, trust me, one candle is going to make a difference. It's going to shift the energy. Okay. So, but if you do know where your wealth area is uh, or your career area is in your living room, by all means, you could choose to burn the candle in that area. And then, of course, we'd be burning a green candle. Right, for money. Yes. Okay, that sounds really simple uh, tip. So where are you going to show us how to burn candle next? Oh, let's go to the bedroom. Okay, we'll do that next, in the bedroom. Now we're in the bedroom, so what should we do with our candle? Well, in the bedroom, we're using the candle to attract love. So okay. we're taking our candle example. And again, just like the living room, we want to place it somewhere that we feel comfortable. Right. So that could be on your dresser. Right. But ideally, it would be great if you felt comfortable placing it on your nightstand. Okay. Now, it is going to be hard to sleep with a candle burning. It actually puts out a lot of light. So if you were meditating, if you were thinking about the love you wanted to attract, that's the perfect time to light the candle and do your wishes and do your prayers for this because that puts you in harmony for it. If you have uh, somebody that you really want to attract, you know their name, mm -hmm. you can take a pencil and carve their name into the wax. That's a great tip, uh, into the wax. So, um, as the candle is burning and burning away their name, is that also attracting love? Well, you're sending their name and your message up to the universe. Right. So you are sending out that universal call to have them come to you. Okay, so is there a certain time frame? I know you mentioned one hour, but in the bedroom, is it a different time frame of burning the candle, or it's just as long as you can? You know, the hour is just a guideline. You know, okay. uh, you could, you might light candles a lot and burn them all the time. Okay. Or if you feel nervous about candles, then the hour is the minimum. Okay, so um, I tend to do like a kind of a sometimes a chanting if I burn a candle. Mm -hmm. Would that be okay? You can do chants, prayers, you could listen to music. Some people feel a real connection with a song and they could listen to the song as the candle's burning. Okay, that's great advice and these are simple tips again. So any final words on what we can do with candles to attract prosperity and positive energy into our life? Yes, uh, you know, you want to focus for the room on the type of clearing that you're doing. So when you're clearing for money, you don't necessarily do it in the bedroom. Right. Now I will say if, let's say you have a roommate situation where the bedroom's your only domain, right. then yes, it makes sense that you would do a money candle in the bedroom or a love candle in the bedroom. But in general, if it's all your house, then we do things that are more public, like money and career, out in a public room. And we do the private things like love in the bedroom. Okay, that makes sense. It's logical. Okay, Donna, these are wonderful, wonderful tips. Thank you so much. So these are really simple and easy tips on how to use candles to clear away negative space and bring in positive energy into your life. Donna has more information about feng shui, including a fabulous book, so please visit her website at fengshuiform.com. Thanks for joining us. For all of my Asian living tips, visit my website at yinnyangliving.com. Thank you. Komasunida.